You know, boxing is a flip floppy sport. Different fighters get different treatments. Jarrell Miller still being allowed to fight. Ahmed Khan was allegedly juicing with his fight with Kel Brook. Roly Romero's opponent has now been pulled out due to failing Nevada test. And AJ allegedly had something in his system against Franklin. So this is my response to the British Boxing Board of Control. If there's any more fights or any more fighters that you know that are juicing, please tell us. Don't wait until the media workout to tell us you find adverse findings in a fighter and you know that you know about it the whole time. For 12 weeks before the actual fight. The problem for me is you want to stop boxers from cheating, then you need to give lifetime bans and stand on it. Because if you don't, the fighters won't even think twice before injecting EPO in their body. And for those who don't know, EPO was a type of steroid or whatever it is, like it's for juicing, and you have to like inject it in your body. And a lot of fighters get banned and fell via the test because they had EPO in their system. But instead, yeah, boxing decides to give six months to two year bans, when in reality, the fighter only has one to two fights in a year, especially the top athletes. So a one to two year ban isn't even enough. The consequence for cheating is not severe. And I like Conor Ben. And I think we need more fighters like Conor Ben. But cheating is cheating. And you need to own up to it and not blame it on contaminated eggs. I don't want to see Conor be banned. But I do think the boxing organisations, the sanctioning bodies need to make an example of the top fighter being banned for life. Now I hear now I hear Conor Ben may be setting to fight Manny Pacquiao, and I think that's an interesting fight. But Conor is a young bull, and I don't know what Manny is thinking taking this fight at 44 years old. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think the Boxing British Board of Control and the sanctioning bodies and the boxing organisation need to start banning fighters for life? Or do you think Conor Ben should be allowed to fight again? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like, comment and subscribe. JG out.